Hey guys, it's me, Steve Jenkinson from Softbox Live Photography. And today I'm going to be showing you how to see your shutter actuations on your digital SLR. So the first thing you need to do is if you are a Mac user like myself, you can pop yourself over to the App Store and download this lovely little app called Shutter Count. And what this will do is, um, as you can see on the screenshot just to hear it, it'll actually show you what the camera is and your serial number, your shutter count and your owner's name if you've got that set up and I shall be going into that in a moment after this tutorial um, but uh, let's get going so basically the app itself it only costs 2 dollars and obviously once you've um, put in all your uh, details to actually purchase the, the app itself you can um, obviously go to view the application itself in in iTunes and then um, obviously we'll click to open and then you'll see the shutter count app open on your screen and all you need to do is plug in your USB cable that came with your camera and turn your camera on wait for your camera to turn on and there you go there is your shutter count so as you can see it's very very quick very very easy to use and shows you all of your information okay so that is uh, just an amazing little app really uh, for, the, for the price of 2 dollars it's always on your uh, computer ready to go and um, if you've got a new camera or any other camera um, that you wanted to actually try uh, and uh, see what your shutter actuations are and shutter counts are, then um, give it a go. I'm not sure what cameras it's, it's actually supposed to, uh, to be used for. However, I know it works on my 7D because I've tried that. And I know it works on the 6D, which is the current model that's uh, plugged in at the moment. So by all means, uh, for 2 dollars you can't really go wrong. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And, and then now we're going to actually talk about how to get your owner's name onto your camera. Okay, uh, just my, my technique in, in doing that. Okay, so um, as you can see, that was a really, really easy app to use. Uh, we're now going to talk about copyright. Um, one of the things I like to do with my cameras is to um, obviously enter all the copyright information so that every time you take an image or upload an image, at least your copyright in, uh, information will be displayed against your photograph. So um, how you actually do that is really, really simple. You can do it in your camera. However, um, if you're like me and um, don't like to press lots and lots and lots of buttons and moving the dials all over the place um, to actually do that on your camera, um, you can actually do it another way, which is using your EOS camera utility. So you're going to want to go on to, if you're a Canon user, for example, you're going to want to go on to canon.co.uk. Um, and then uh, find your camera model and it will detect your uh, operating system as well uh, which is quite handy and um, you want to scroll yourself down until you get to EOS utility okay and um, and this is the one we're going to be using so if we click on launchpad uh, there's the shutter account that we used earlier and once you've downloaded EOS utility it will be here click on that and then you're going to want to plug your camera in uh, using the USB cable that came with the camera and turn your camera on and we're going to wait for a few seconds for that to come up let's just get rid of that second okay and the one you're going to want to pick is camera settings remote shooting okay and we're going to click on that now and then you should have this appear okay and this is your 
EOS utility for your camera. And you're going to want to click on the third one along just here. And there you go, you can actually see what it's going to come up as. So uh, the owner's name, so if you double click on that, you can put in your name who's the owner of the camera. And then the author, I usually do the same thing again, use my name and then my actual company name. Then your copyright information. So I normally put uh, the name of the company and also the year, um, and obviously your website address. And that is pretty much it. Uh, once you've done that, you are good to go. Um, so as I say, it's very, very simple to do. Uh, much easier to do using the US uh, utility than it is to actually enter it all in the camera itself. Um, but um, there you go I'm hoping that you like that uh, tutorial and um, we will see you again on the next one so thanks very much guys and take care thanks bye